I'm John Sorrell. I am the chair and founder of the Sorrell Foundation and the National Saturday Club. And I also am the founder of London Design Festival and London Design Biennale. I'm a designer and um, I spent my whole life in the world of design. And what I know is that designers can be absolutely brilliant at solving problems. So what better than to ask uh, countries from around the world to come together every two years for what you might describe as an international conversation about design and its impact on society and the economy. And that's what we've been doing. The pandemic hit the planning for the Biennale very hard. Everything stopped. People were just talking about the pandemic. They completely forgot about climate change, migration, or about the other huge problems the world's facing. So what I said was, why don't we see if we could get people to look at and talk about and perhaps design things related to what I think is an age of crisis. The best way to do that, we thought, was to go and talk to Chatham House, who are the world's best international affairs organisations. We partnered with them. We got nearly 600 submissions from designers and from the general public and from young people, which we then turned into an exhibit in the Biennale in Somerset House in 21. London Design Festival is an annual event, happens in September, when we basically celebrate London as the design capital of the world. The festival takes place all over London. There are lots of parties, lots of gatherings, and there's a sort of crowd that moves around from one opening to another. So it is a great celebration of design, but there's a very serious side, which is people talking again about how it impacts on London. Well, the pandemic affected the London Design Festival, but we didn't give up. In the first year of the pandemic, we did a hybrid festival, which mixed digital in a big way with the physical things we were able to do. The National Saturday Club is an offer to young people from the age of 13 to 16 to go along on a Saturday to their local university or college, or, and a few museums as well, to take part in a Saturday club taught by tutors. And the rules basically are that you don't have to go because it's not school, it's free. So there's no barrier to entry if you come from a family that can't afford it. And there are no exams. What happens is the passion that they get from the people who are teaching them and the people who give masterclasses and the people who tell them what they're looking at when they go around museums and galleries. This extraordinary input is incredibly important because otherwise how are they going to find out what the opportunities are out there? The thing about communicating with the public about design is that most of the media concentrates on a very tiny part of design. I mean, you will see more about fashion design in the media than anything else. But if you look at all the disciplines of design, the point is that's really interesting, I think, is that if you put them together, you've got a very holistic way of looking at the way the world works through design.